Hey guys, welcome to my Animal Adventures YouTube channel and in this episode we're going to play with some really big snakes. And if you've been watching my channel, you know I have two reticulated pythons. One, the male, he weighs about 30 pounds. The female is coming in at a whopping 60 pounds. She is a beast and she, hopefully, she'll lay some eggs this year. I paired them up, paired them up for a couple weeks, uh, a couple months back to back. And now I've separated them and hopefully they'll actually go and she will lay some eggs and I was just peeking in her cage she might be a little grumpy today <laughs> she's going into a shed and what I really want to do is get an ultrasound on Lucy to see if she actually has premature eggs inside of her which we call follicles and if those follicles get to a certain size they definitely will turn into eggs and she also looks like she might be ovulating which means uh, basically when they ovulate they swell up in the, the lower half of the snake and that is the point where the eggs become fertilized and if she's ovulating that's a good indication that we're going to get a clutch of eggs and hopefully if she lays eggs I could probably get between 35 and 45 eggs which would be a whole lot of reticulated pythons that I'd be selling at some of these shows so in this episode I want to show you these snakes and we're gonna jump right in see if if we can uh, work with Lucy's bad attitude I'm thinking she's gonna be really grouchy <laughs> going into a shed and ovulating at the same time but I really want to get an ultrasound and take a look at her follicles so if you haven't seen my reptile room these are all my racks full of ball python adults and hatchlings and grow outs and the only one that doesn't have ball pythons is this big tub in the middle and this is where I keep Sonny he is the mate for Lucy he's the male and he's coming in about 30 pounds the last time I weighed him. He just went through this explosive shed and I got really lucky. I put a whole bunch of water, sprinkled it, you know, got the, the substrate really humid and I just kind of took a chance. And on these albino retics, you really can't tell when they're going into the shed. Their eyes really don't cloud up and, and he looks, he looks like uh, he's kind of in an interesting mood. Let's see if I can, see if I can touch him a little bit see what kind of a mood he's in <laughs> let's see here he looks like he's pretty good I'm trying to tame him down a little bit more because he's I every time I pick him up it seems like he's a little bit skittish and I've been working with them more just in the tub kind of try to touch him and move him a little bit and look he's pretty much in handling mode once you get him going and and he's, you, you really have to be careful of these retics because they're kind of unpredictable, I'd say. Especially this guy, he's, he's a little bit wild. He's not as tame as Lucy, but he's a really beautiful snake. He's a purple albino. He's part super dwarf and part dwarf. So the babies will actually be a lavender albino. They'll have one copy of the purple gene and the purple is what turns this color dark right in here so it should be really interesting to see what the babies look like and he's really starting to tame down quite a bit ever since I started handling him a little bit and especially since he's come out of the shed you definitely don't want to handle him too much when they're going into a shed <laughs> he's kind of checking the place out but really he's not really the biggest reticulated python that you'll see being part super dwarf. He's not going to get a whole lot bigger. And most reticulated pythons will get really, really big. Some of them actually get up to 300 pounds. He's a really good looking snake. So this is the male. I definitely have to go through here and clean up his enclosure. He's got a little bit of shed here and there. I usually just spot clean a little. Now he's getting a little freaked out and you see he just jumped a little bit. That kind of freaked him out. So I don't want to I don't want to freak him out too much. I just want just enough to so where I can tame him down a little bit where he's not going crazy. Okay, so things are getting a little crazy over here. I have my ultrasound up on top and I have a camera over here that is recording the ultrasound image and <laughs> I'm trying to get a good angle on Lucy so I can take an ultrasound and I think she's, she really needs to come over this way a little bit more because 
I'm thinking the eggs should be about this area here. At least that's what I'm thinking. Jesus, I'm not even sure if this ultrasound's gonna work with a snake this big. Boy, I really can't quite see anything here. I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe down for the maybe down in here I need a little more gel okay now things are gonna get interesting here because she is in a bad spot oh 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 don't bite me don't bite me Okay. Boy, I almost see something right there, but they're not not very big. Oh, almost right there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Still really small follicles, I would say. If those are the follicles. Yep, yep, yep. They're about right about here. Yeah, let me see if I can hit the freeze button. All right, so I was able to hit the freeze button and this is what they look like. Not very big. They look like they're maybe 10 or 12 millimeters. So she's got quite a ways to go. So I measured these follicles and it looks like they're coming in at 13.9 millimeters. Okay, so I decided to have a little more fun with Sunny and take him out, handle him, maybe pick him up a little bit and get him used to being handled. I know he's a little bit skittish. He kind of got freaked out the last time when I picked him up. So let's take him out. I'll show you how big this snake is. He is really big. And see what kind of a mood he's in. He's, he's pretty, pretty much in a good mood last time. So I think it'll be okay if we, <laughs> if we actually pick him up and take him out. Let's see here. All right, buddy. Oh, right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there we go. I think if we keep the tail end in, <laughs> I'd be doing pretty good. He's a really good looking snake. See if we can do this without taking a bite. Right, close him up just a little bit. <laughs> he wants to go back in. Well, if you get him in the light, he's really pretty. It's a really pretty snake. Alright. He's kind of wagging his tail a little bit. Not really the happiest snake in the world. Alright. Alright, Sonny. He's running a little bit now. Oh. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him out. Oh. Mm. 
boy. How you doing, buddy? Ugh. I think it just needs to be handled a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Look at that snake. He's a real beauty. Yeah, he's relaxed a little bit more. Actually, whoa, kind of freaked him out a little right there. Boy, he's a, got so much power, I can't believe it. I need to trust him a little as much as he trusts me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. There you go. Oh, he's really got me. <laughs> I can't believe how much power he has. Oh, I could not move. <laughs> so the question tense. is, will she lay this year? And from what I see, it doesn't look really promising. Typically you pair them up about 10 millimeters and they ovulate between 45 and 50 millimeters and at 13 millimeters she's really early in the season. Doesn't look like she's ovulating and really what I need to do if I, if I want to have a shot of getting some reticulated python hatchlings this year, looks like I'm going to have to throw that male in there for a couple more times to make sure that I fertilize those immature eggs. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.